Hey, it's your boy Miguel Z with the Valiant Breast of New Japan Rebound Podcast. I have a guest for you, folks. Yeah, yeah, that boy. Hey, man, shout out to Valiant Wrestling. I'm right here with the big ooze, San Jose. We're going to shut this shit down. Love and respect, all right? Valiant Wrestling, hello. Man, thank you, brother. Thank you. Welcome to Late to the Party News for February 4th, 2024. Unfortunately due to technical difficulties beyond our control, the weekly roundup podcast was cancelled today, but we are expecting to be back up and running properly starting Monday with the raw review and run smoothly through the rest of our usual weekly content. With the explanation out of the way, let's dive into today's episode. Brian Cage, a prominent figure in the wrestling world although you wouldn't know it based on his AEW booking, recently got into the issue of tribalism within the industry. The accomplished wrestler, opened up about this contentious subject while being a guest on Taylor Wilde's Wild On podcast. Cage shared his perspectives on the matter, shedding light on his recent experience attending a DNA, total non-stop action wrestling, taping. During the podcast discussion, Brian Cage expressed his satisfaction at witnessing the success of TNA, a company he had previously been associated with. His visit to the taping provided him with a first-hand look at the company's thriving status, prompting him to reflect on the positive developments within the wrestling landscape. This revelation not only showcased Cage's genuine appreciation for the promotion where he had once plied his trade but also highlighted a broader theme of unity and mutual support within the wrestling community. In the midst of ongoing debates about tribalism, where fans and wrestlers often align themselves with specific promotions, Cage's comments hinted at a more inclusive perspective. By acknowledging the success of a former employer, even after venturing into new territories like Hill and Row, he subtly advocated for a mindset that transcends divisive loyalties. This stance contributes to the narrative of a wrestling industry where success is celebrated across promotions, fostering an environment of camaraderie and shared triumphs. As wrestling fans eagerly listen to insights from their favorite athletes, Brian Cage's reflections on tribalism add a layer of nuance to the ongoing discourse within the industry. The acknowledgement of a positive experience at a TNA taping not only underscores the dynamism of the wrestling landscape but also serves as a reminder that, at its core, professional wrestling is a collective endeavor where success can be appreciated irrespective of organizational boundaries. On visiting TNA's recent taping, since we're talking about DNA so much, I went to the show yesterday. I didn't know I was going to do AEW TV on Saturday, cause I was going to go to TNA on Saturday, then my flight got delayed and whatever. I probably got there about halfway through the show. It was even more stacked on Saturday. It was awesome. Obviously I'm there and I know so many people there wrestling wise and office wise. It was great to see everyone and say hi and hello. The crowd was so hyped, especially for the Josh and Osprey match. It was amazing. I was actually going to leave to go to the gym because it was so late, they were about to go on and I was like, damn it, I gotta stay and watch this match. I'm so glad I did. I was so proud and so hyped for it. I just love to see them and I want to see them keep doing more and more. On tribalism and wrestling, when people say the whole like, even back in the day, I want Ring of Honor to go out of business, I want Impact to go out of business. Why would you want that? If you don't like the product, you don't watch the product. First of all, when people crap on the product, DNA for instance. It's so great because you'll be like, when's the last time you watched TNA? And they're like, oh I don't, I haven't. Then how do you have any say on how good or bad it is if you don't watch it? I can't tell you how good or bad some movie is that hasn't come out yet. It gets me so hot and bothered. There's so much wrestling, so much wrestling and such easy access to it to where if you don't want to watch it, watch something else, but don't sit here and demonize it because you just want to be cool online and get your little 15 minutes of fame. Switching gears now, Montez Ford recently shared his personal struggles with body dysmorphia, opening up about the topic on the MMA Hour. The Street Profits member spoke on the show about his issues with how he perceives himself, noting that he has had issues with how he sees his body compared to how others do. As calm, and patient, and collected as I am, I am more hard on myself than anybody else, Ford said, per Wrestling Incorporated. And I think during the time period it was just me not being satisfied in how I wanted to present the world to myself. The world was happy, the wife was happy, the family is happy, you look great, you look great, but I think sometimes people misunderstand. If I am feeling this way, this is not the world's fault, it's something internally. He continued, I'm so hard on my body presentation and the way I present myself in the ring, and I think it was just a thing of gaining my own confidence within myself, he said. 
It's one thing to have the whole world praise you, but if it's not within yourself it's kind of for nothing. Ford entered a bodybuilding competition in November of last year and after he won, he talked about his dysmorphia issues. And for our final topic of the show, tonight is NXT Vengeance Day. We're expecting an electrifying night of action-packed pro wrestling as the stars of NXT collide in a spectacular match card lineup. The stakes are higher than ever, with championships on the line and intense rivalries reaching their boiling point. No disqualification match, Dijak vs Joe Gacy. The intensity reaches new heights in a no disqualification match as Dijak and Joe Gacy settle their differences with no rules holding them back. Steel chairs, tables, and whatever else they can get their hands on will come into play as these two warriors engage in an all-out brawl. Men's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Finals, Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker vs Carmelo Hayes Amp, Trick Williams. The Men's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic reaches its climax as the formidable team of Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker clashes with the duo of Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. With the tournament trophy and a shot at the NXT Tag Team Championships at stake, expect an all-out war inside the squared circle. NXT North American Championship, Obafemi vs Dragon Lee. The high-flying Obafemi puts his NXT North American Championship on the line against the dynamic Dragon Lee. With aerial acrobatics and hard-hitting maneuvers, this championship bout promises to be a show-stealer, showcasing the incredible athleticism of both competitors. Mixed Tag Team Match, The Family vs OTM and Jida Parker. In a mixed tag team encounter, The Family, consisting of Tony D'Angelo, Channing Lorenzo, and Adriana Rizzo, takes on the alliance of Lucien Price, Bronco Nima, and Jida Parker. With alliances and rivalries intertwining, this match adds an extra layer of drama and excitement to Vengeance Day. NXT Women's Championship, Lyra Valkyria vs Roxanne Perez. The NXT Women's Championship will be fiercely contested as the enigmatic Lyra Valkyria defends her title against the tenacious Roxanne Perez. Expect a clash of styles and a battle of wills as these two phenomenal athletes vie for supremacy in the women's division. NXT Championship, Ilya Dragunov vs Trick Williams. In the main event, the relentless Ilya Dragunov squares off against the confident and cunning Trick Williams for the prestigious NXT Championship. Will Dragunov's indomitable spirit prevail, or will Trick Williams pull off the upset and claim the championship gold? Vengeance Day promises to be a roller coaster of emotions, unpredictable twists, and jaw-dropping moments, making it a must-watch event on Peacock for every passionate pro wrestling fan. Get ready for an unforgettable night of NXT action that will leave fans on the edge of their seats. I want to thank you for listening to my little show late to the party news, remember to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notification for all value of wrestling content. It's because of you that we do this and I hope that you have a wonderful day.